my cabbages are ready to harvest, my corn has grown, my potatoes are good to go, and even my little pig who wants some attention. Look at that little guy. Oh, you guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Mosswood as part of our Littlewood adventures, and I am totally ready to get to work, hopefully being able to earn a lot of dew drops because we do have, huh, we do have something very special happening next week with the rare item merchant, but also today's the day that the pet store should be open. Woo! I am so excited about that. Let's go ahead and we're going to hang out with Willow first thing in the morning though. Hey Siri, how's rebuilding going? I feel like I should be helping more. Here, take some building materials. <gasps> Ooh, some perfect bricks. Thank you, Willow. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have her help us out today. Oh, hello, little birdies because we're gonna start our morning with a little bit of farming. So eating some fluffy berry donuts with our friend Willow and doing a little bit of farming. There we go, little Pigu likes to eat a carrot. The chicken is still good. We've got all of these potatoes to harvest. Nice, giving us lots. Ooh, the rarer the plants, then the more farming experience it gives you. Five for potatoes. Six for corn, are you kidding me? Okay, you guys know what that means. We need to go ahead and we're actually going to destroy that potato. Is this a potato too? All right, we're gonna destroy these potatoes. Uh, even though I really love potatoes, you guys know how much I love potatoes. Uh, but we're gonna do that so that we can plant some corn. Because if corn is actually the best thing, wait, we have potatoes now. <gasps> and those actually, there we go, yes. That's actually gonna help us out even more because that's an even rarer plant. So if we wanna be able to get a whole bunch of experience from all of these things, does that mean when we gather? Hang on, I need to harvest up these ca these cabbages really quickly. Yeah, like that's, that's a bunch of experience too. How many cabbages do I have? Do I have a lot of cabbages? I have a lot of cabbages. I have a lot of potatoes. I have a, I have a lot of carrots. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually, oops, we're gonna remove these cabbages as well. I love my cabbage farm, don't get me wrong, but I think the time has come to grow a bunch of corn for just a little bit. That maxes out our crops here because that's gonna give us even more experience. And that begs the question, if I pick a slime apple, that gives me one gathering experience. And if I pick a golden bell, it gives me four gathering experience. <gasps> the difference is clear. The time has come. We're going to replace. Oh, it's kind of like we're welcoming autumn in a little early too. So we're going to actually replace these slime apple trees. Oh, hang in there, slime apple trees. Sorry, sorry. We're going to actually replace those with the rarest trees we can plant. Can I plant the sour buck trees? I can plant sour buck trees! Holy cow! I feel like these should actually be planted down by Xana's house. I'm not gonna lie. Because these seem like something that Xana would actually have like growing near her home. So I'm gonna actually plant those there. I'm gonna put this one here. And then let me go ahead and move. I wanna move her house over one so we can walk between those. And then how many more trees can I plant? So I'm out of sour pucks to plant, but I can plant five more trees for real. <gasps> this is so neat. All right, so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna kind of give, there we go. We're gonna start creating like a new aura for town and kind of like give it a little bit more of an autumnal feel by putting down the golden bells and moving the corn around. In fact, I now I'm kind of tempted, you know what? I don't know when we would have time to do it. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna try to make like a little corn field. So flooring, I'm gonna need some tilled soil. We're gonna make just kind of like a cute little corn field right over here. Yeah, that'll do. In front of town hall so that, or excuse me, in front of hero hall. So that all of my people know what we're working on. All right, we're gonna move corn over here. And we might be able to put down like some cute decorations. I'll move the cabbage over here too. 
And then I might move the carrots closer to me so that they're, they're able to get harvested up a little faster. And then I might replace the carrots. Actually, maybe it's time to replace the carrots with cabbages. I wish we had more crop spots. Maybe that should be our other goal for today is making it so that we can plant more crops. I need my town wishes. Heck, and we still have the pet store to visit. I know we need to go to the pet store. It's just, man, you can get very, very caught up in this. All right, where's my corn? Eh. Corn, you're so far away. Why must you be so far away? Or excuse me, carrots. All right, come on, carrot. I want to keep my, my cute little garden that I have along here going at least. So my cliff carrots we have re-removed. We're, we're re-locating where they're located. And I think, I think I'll wait for replacing the cliff carrots until I have more potatoes, Because those guys are now our rarest crop. I had, I just, I just did not pay attention to how the rarer the plants the more resources you got from the get-go, and I really wish I had. Okay, we actually need to lower those things, lower that, and I do have some flowers we can actually plant over here. I'm gonna put a yellow zigzag right there, and then can I put anything like a white dewcap? I have one white dewcap, and no white lollipops. I have a couple of red lollipops. And we'll put these over here instead. There's a yellow lollipop. And yellow zigzag? Nope. Blue zigzag? Oh, I have a couple blue ones. Yeah, we'll kind of just put like a nice little flower arrangement. No dewcaps. One yellow dewcap. <laughs> we'll put a, a cute little flower arrangement behind the town hall area. This blue zigzag can go over here. And there we go, just something nice and loose. I prefer more organic shapes after all. And then let's harvest up these excellent farming. Farming experience, woo! And then how's this chicken? Let's see what this chicken's up to. An egg, more farming experience. And then market request, I'd like to buy five fancy bricks at the marketplace. Oh, come along, come along. Oh geez, there's a rock in the way. But come on, Willow, if you want some fancy bricks, we can go ahead and make sure we craft them up together. There we go. All right, this is awesome, guys. And we're gonna have to remember when the time comes to actually gather these up, maybe catch this bug. And then what should we put down here? I'm gonna put the one weed we have so far. But when the time comes to go ahead and look at how the pets are and what the pets do in town, we need to remember and we need to be strong, even though it's going to be really hard. We need to be strong and remember that those pets, there we go, golden bell, more gathering experience. Yeah, I think I want to replace a few of these. All right, you're in the way, little one. I'll keep my peach shot. But I think I'm actually ready to get rid of these trees and replace them with golden bell trees. And we'll just welcome autumn and welcome getting our gathering experience really up and going. All right, there's one, there's two, and then another, another one right here. Yay! I'm really happy with that. Excellently done. Willow, thank you very much. Oh, you really mean it? Thanks, Siri. Yeah, of course I mean it. Like, her help really got a whole bunch of that stuff done. Oh, well, I'm gonna donate the fancy bricks, but I'll get her two more fancy bricks to put down. We got tree sap, a tree star. We can unlock new town wishes if I can expand things soon. I have no new town wishes to wish upon. They do take dew drops. We need to remember that. And then I'm gonna complete her quest by coming on down and getting two more fancy bricks. There we go. Phew, what a busy day. I love the new like way we've laid out all of town though. I forgot this is why we came over to the fancy bricks earlier or to the marketplace earlier. All right, and if I just gather up two weeds, then I think we'll be done with whatever the marketplace needs for the day. And we will have gathered a lot of things. We will have gathered a lot of gathering materials, which I like. 
Hey, Bubsy, how you doing? Hmm, I suppose I should help with the rebuilding in Mosswood somehow. I don't want anyone calling me some freeloader. Here, take these. Ooh, sweet, perfect planks, thank you. He doesn't do much, our Bubsy, but, you know, he, he helps out as he can, I suppose. All right, there, all that's set and ready to sell. Let's go ahead and run over. Dalton? I fell down a cliff once. You're the coolest hero ever, Siri. Thank you, Dalton. I was waiting for a follow-up to I fell down a cliff once, and that was that was all it was. All right, Zana, let's go to the pet shop. Wow, I could get lost in the museum. I can't believe you collected all those items. Oh, thank you. We really need to work on the museum more. We'll spend a day with Laura sometime soon and try to get the museum done. But let's go ahead. Oh, I should replace these plants with some of the golden bells as well. Then we'll really be on it. Oh, let's get two more perfect bricks. Yes, two more perfect bricks. And we're going to be that much closer to being able to unlock. Come on, perfect bricks. Bonus brick, please. Oh, well, no bonus brick, but that's fine. Here we go. So much closer to being able to unlock the Master Forge. Black Pearl, Dark Matter, Purple Sludge. Woo! I'm really excited to be able to unlock everything. All right, let's go check out the pet shop. Pet shop, pet shop, pet shop, pet shop. Pet shop! What? It's the pet, it has a cat on the roof. Oh my gosh. They're all so cute. Look at all of them. Oh my word, how do you pick? This one seems perfect. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. A mixed fluffer. We have got kitty cats. Look at these, adventure torty munchkin. White long hair, sneaky short hair. I want to adopt these guys. A white arctic pup, a black and tan weenie, a small mixed squeaker. You guys, we need more dewdrops. We need a bookshelf filled with interesting textbooks on the history of Solom. That's wonderful. We have new animals every Monday and Friday. I really want to be able to like see all of these little puppers and cats at our place. Wait, there's missing exotic pets? Last seen in a barrel somewhere. Last seen eating fruit somewhere. Last seen with a mud puppy. Last seen in a tree somewhere. Last seen behind a giant sculpture. Last seen in a dusty place. This animal appears to miners who have mined over 3,000 ores. Last seen stealing fish from crates on the pier. Middle, left, right, left. Last seen in a dark and wet place. What? There's even exotic pets that you can get? Zana, that's so cool. Okay, I think that that's extremely exciting. Oh, donate dewdrops. What is the last, the auction house? All right, look, we'll donate those dewdrops, but that's all you're getting this time. Port, that's all you're getting. Okay, that's extremely exciting. I'm very, very happy with everything that we have discovered so far. Um, and how close are we to unlocking? How close are we to actually getting our woodworking? Our woodworking is getting very close to that level 50. And once we get it to level 50, we can open up that chest that's sealed by magic. So let's actually go back home, since apparently we cannot adopt any of the pets today, and I am quite saddened by that. <laughs> Uh, like, do the items I have even sell for something? The golden balls sell for 11, goop melon for 20. I guess I need to do like a ton of cooking because that takes all of these lower quality things and really turns them into something fancier. Oh, and I already had my daily donut. Ah, what to do? What to do? Let's go look for more golden balls. I think I used up all of my golden balls, the rare fruit, basically. And I'll oh, get more rare items. And then rare items, magic trees. Ah, I can't decide. And if we get to level 60 in woodcutting, we can ride the final whirly bug. Oh, there's just too much to do. I love it. All right, let's open these up. Tilled soil. 100 dew drops. You know, maybe we should spend the whole time gathering weeds. That actually might work. Oh, and it's this guy again. I am a powerful wizard, you know. I have been on many adventures. Probably more than you have. Okay, that guy, he thinks he is the, like, he thinks that he is the dark wizard, but he's not. Harold Pockets. Oh, good luck to you, buddy. 
There we go. Yeah, let's gather all these flowers. I think blue flowers are um, unusual and somewhat rare. So we'll gather those. And I mean, we could work on our wood cutting. All right, there's some dewdrops there, but actually maybe it's better to spend our time gathering up some of these weeds now that I think of it. So that we can sell them in the coming days. Maybe that is the better thing to do. Here, let's go ahead and we'll explore. Instead of doing any wood cutting, we're gonna do some gathering and we're gonna explore. <gasps> yes, a golden bell! To see what kind of chest we can we can find. I don't think Zana would be scared of the dark either. There's so many chests. See, and they're full of dewdrops. And magic wood, so this is totally worth it. And oh, it's Robin! And he has now unlocked the book, The Lightning Mages, just in time, because I think the Lightning Mages are actually coming for a special event pretty soon. All right, piece of wood. And then there's some weeds over here. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm so tickled. What a full day we have had. And the last place we'll go is Dust Caverns. Because we're, we're now on kind of more a collecting expedition than anything. Looking for those special chests and what might be inside of them. These dewdrops are precious. They might really help us. Oh, geez. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay, we've got to wait for this guy to get out of the way to be able to get this chest. Okay, he's gone. No! Oh, no! <laughs> All right, and now there's that cave, but I have to not touch anything. Okay, there's the Wraith card. Man, I wish I could get that rare dragon ore, but I'm about to pass out. Yeah, and I can't gather anything else, so it's time to return home. Ah, what a full day. I really love all of the farming we did. We have unlocked the pet shop. We have hopefully worked on getting our gathering skill up a little bit more. Um, and we actually have gone ahead and I found another golden bell. So even though I feel a little bad, we're gonna come on over and remove these trees. Down you go, come plumberry trees. Because putting more golden bells and sour puck trees down, Boom, boom. Will help us with our gathering skill in the future. Ta-da! All right, how are we doing on stuff with town? Still need to compliment, compliment more townsfolk. We have a lot more money now, thank goodness. And how's everything else going? Yes, farming is going up, burgeoning is going up, crafting is going up. We're getting there, guys. But I love the new pet shop. Now we just really need to figure out what is the best way to get dewdrops? That is the question. But all right, guys, if you guys could do please leave a like for all of our wonderful adventures here in Mosswood. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, gather up those dewdrops and stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.